Can you still use Windows Vista in 2024? Let's find out. Windows Vista is a major release of the Windows NT operating system, released to manufacturing in November 2006, and shortly after, was also released to the general public on January 30, 2007. However, at the time of Vista's launch, many computers were not compatible or capable of running Windows Vista, and those who could run Vista had a terrible experience, abused the hardware that was current at the time, barely met the minimum requirements to run Vista, and so this left many sticking with Windows XP until Windows 7 hit the scene in late 2009. Although Vista was also rather groundbreaking and revolutionary, it was much better than most people anticipated. New features such as error glass and user account control were leaps and bounds ahead of what we had in the previous iteration of Windows. Vista also introduced file search on the desktop, a feature we still see in modern versions of Windows, and get this, Vista was also the version that introduced the famous kids game Purple Palace, which I actually used to play a lot when I was a lot younger, and oh boy do I have some fond memories of Purple Palace. Anyway. Our big question to answer today is, can you still use Windows Vista in 2024, and beyond? Microsoft has ceased all support for Windows Vista, so it is no longer a safe operating system to use. In April 2017, Microsoft ceased extended support for Windows Vista, and five years prior, they ceased feature updates, so Vista is a very outdated system, and while it looks cool and all the rest of it, you should definitely not consider using it as a main system, and you're gonna have to go hunting down drivers and fetching all the updates Microsoft ever pushed to Vista, what a pain in the ass, wouldn't it be easier to use a modern version of Windows, or at least try an alternative operating system such as Linux? Not everyone has the time, skills, and patience to learn something new, and not everyone can afford to buy a new PC or laptop and with Windows 11 having extremely restrictive minimum hardware requirements, it's no surprise some are choosing to use old, unsupported versions of Windows. I actually know that some of my viewers are also unlucky enough to still be on older versions of Windows, and the reason I make these videos about using older versions in the modern era is because I want to educate you on the dangers of continuing to use an outdated and unsupported operating system. Because without the presence of security updates, your system is at a greater risk of becoming infected, and it is not possible to harden the security settings of these older versions of Windows to modern and acceptable standards. Actually, you could do that, but imagine the amount of time, effort, resources, and money you would have to spend just to make an old system like Vista usable again. There is absolutely no point in doing that. The best you could possibly do to protect yourself is to use antivirus software, and use up-to-date web browsers, and whatever other software you use. And just a note of caution, antivirus does not save you from certain threats, such as a zero-day exploit, nor is it guaranteed to detect all viruses or malware that gets onto your system. So I would strongly recommend that if you are going to use Vista, either on bare metal, or inside a virtual machine that you disconnect Vista from all networks, because if Vista gets compromised, and manages to infect your network, that's a serious problem, as this could result in other machines on that same network getting infected, so the absolute best thing to do, and in fact it is almost of necessity, is to never ever use old, unsupported operating systems online, especially Microsoft Windows, as it has the largest target on its back. This means malware developers are most focused on destroying Windows, more so than any other OS. So this is why it is extremely important to use an up-to-date version of Windows, and keep all your software up to date. You also need to make sure your antivirus is always up to date, and regularly do scans to check for malicious files or folders on your system. You may also want to practice checking the checksums of programs. This is a great way to ensure your package is not spoofed, or has had malicious code or stuff injected into it, and this is even more essential on old, unsupported systems, as nobody is offering support to these older systems, you must try your absolute best to not get infected, and the best way to do that is to follow all of the above as best as you can, update your software, 
use an up-to-date antivirus, and consider learning how to perform checksums and validating your software as genuine. This is not to justify or excuse using Windows Vista, as a matter of fact, I would go against using Windows Vista in 2024 for many reasons. The largest reason and by far the biggest threat is that the lack of security patches will leave Vista open to serious and potentially fatal security flaws. Vista will also feel like a mess. Any bugs, glitches, any issue will not be fixed by Microsoft or anyone else for that matter. So using Windows Vista in 2024 is really not a good idea and I would recommend you don't use it, if at all possible, but if you're so stubborn to move to a new system, there is not much else I can tell you. All I can say is that whatever happens to you, it's on you, because you choose to use an unsupported, outdated operating system, and so, you must be willing to accept any consequences that comes with that. I am just here to educate you, at the end of the day, that decision is yours, but personally, I would highly recommend you use VirtualBox, a free and open source virtualization tool for running multiple guest operating systems inside your host OS, and install Windows Vista inside of a virtual machine, and disconnect it from all networks, no Ethernet, no Wi-Fi, no nothing, and perhaps consider setting up shared folders, so you can share downloaded applications and software with the Windows VM. This is also a great way to do malware analysis. Say you want to test a program or check out a website, but you are unsure of what it may do to your system, run a Windows VM, and you will be safe, although I would recommend disabling shared folders if this is what you want to do, but I assume most of you won't be doing the malware analysis, so if you really want to use Windows Vista, without putting your security and privacy at risk, then it's best to use it in a compartmentalized and completely isolated environment. This will mitigate the risks of infecting your own computer, as well as infecting any other device on your network, and it will allow for you to retain access to legacy software and apps, that may not work in later versions of Windows, but whatever the reason is, try and stay as safe as possible, and preferably, don't use Vista at all, it had its heyday, but as we all know, Vista was a massive failure compared to its successor, Windows 7 and XP fared much better than Vista as well. So if anyone does want to use Vista, I would find that very strange, but whatever, you do, and as far as I know, barely anyone uses Vista today anyways. So why on earth would you want to use an almost 20 year old operating system? Anyway, that will do it for this video folks. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.